Hello and welcome to the CQ Tech channel. My name is Corbon Garcia and on today's show I'll be giving you guys a quick tutorial on Bitly. Now Bitly, if you do not know, is the link shortening service that does things such as bit.ly slash mobile as you can see here in the picture. So let's get through the intro and I'll teach you how to use this free service. So the first thing you're going to have to do is either sign up or sign in. If you would sign in, you have the option to sign in with either Facebook or Twitter. In this case, I'm going to choose Twitter because this is very easy to do. So after you get signed in, this is how your page will look. Now you will not have any bit links because this is my account as you can see here. So you're going to have to create some. Up at the top, you will see you have an option to paste your URL that you would like to shorten. On the side here, you will have your bit links, and then on the other side, you will have your information. So in this case, for an example, I will choose my YouTube channel. Now, my YouTube channel has not reached 500 subscribers, so I was not able to get a custom URL. Using Bitly, I was able to shorten my YouTube page name to bit.ly slash cgtechyoutube. Now, under this information, you will have an option to see your traffic and how many clicks you've gotten, along with the bar graph showing you an all-time hour, 24 hours, 7 days, 14 days, and 30 days. You can also see where the bit link was shared. As you can see here, it was shared 12 times on Twitter and unknown 20 times, which I do not know what that is. You also have an option to see who shared a link to this content. Now, in this case right here, I'm recording this voiceover, so I was going to shorten my um, CG Productions website uh, on a bit link, but I forgot to add the S in CG Productions because it was CSG Productions. So when I say that something is wrong in the following section, uh, it was because of that. So you can see up at the top, it says the name, which is CNG Productions, which that is wrong because I'm using the wrong website. After that, after archive, you have edit, you have tag, and then the share option, which lets you share. Now you have up at the top your name of the bit link, and then the website shortening, and then an option to copy. Now if you would like to customize your bit link, you have an option of bit.ly, bit.ly.com, or j.mp which is the shortest one, but I like to use the regular bit.ly. Now what you type in this customized box is what it's going to be customized to, so you could do bit.ly slash UDP. But in the, the example here is if you use something that a lot of people use too, it is normally taken, so you have to do something that is that you think out of the box of to just figure out something that's created to use. So it's sometimes very confusing to figure something out. Under edit, you have the same options for bit.ly and customize, and you can edit the text. So I would like to take this and out and click save, and that saved it. You can also have an option to save this in your public profile, which we will go over in a few seconds. So up at the top, it will save your new bit link, and you can see it right there. Now let's go to the next section, which is bundles. Now as far as I know, I do not know what uh, bundles are, but if in a, probably a few weeks, I will be doing another tutorial on this bundle section. If you would like that to happen, leave a comment down below stating that you would like that. The next section here is your stats or statistics and letting you see what the um, percentages of your clicks are. Now you can see in your past seven days, your total clicks and the total saves. Now, I don't know why this says 1,718 clicks. I don't have no idea how this happens because right next to it, it says zero clicks. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the 47, I mean, in my case, 47 clicks I've had in all. And under that, you're able to see the refers and the locations that they were clicked. In this example, you can see where they were clicked from and what countries were using the bit links. And now under your network, this only works if you connected it with your Twitter or Facebook accounts. If people you follow on Twitter share posts that use bit links, they will pop up here. Now if there are repetitive posts that you would like to block here, such as, uh, this, I don't want to block Chris Barilla, but 
Uh, if you hover over the person's name, you get an option, as you can see here, to mute that person by, just by hitting that button. But I do not want to do that. Now this is the uh, network feed, and let's go back to my bitlinks so I can show you the next part up here. If you click on your name or your at symbol, you have the option for uh, settings, tools, and your public profile. I will start with the tools section. So you can see here that Bitly does have a Chrome extension. So if you're on a website that you would like to shorten, you can add that up onto your toolbar, which could be very helpful for people who use this a lot. Now, if you're on Internet Explorer, you can just drag this little button that you can see right here up into your toolbar. And that's how you will use Bitly on Internet Explorer. Now, if you would like to use Bitly on your iOS a device, you can install the Bitly app, which is free on the App Store. And there is also a WordPress plugin. At the bottom here is just some information for Bitly developers. Now let's go to the next section, which is your public profile. Up at the top, there is a notice at the time I'm recording this saying that they are supposedly sunsetting, which I guess they mean they're getting rid of, um, Bitly bundles on May 7th. Now you'll see how many Bitlinks you have, how many bundles you've had, and how long you've been joined. Under that, you'll see your Twitter account if you've connected that, and then what your most recent Bitlink is. After that, it's just privacy, terms of servants, and then you'll see an option to sign out. Anyway, this has been my short little tutorial on Bitly, and Bitly is free online at bitly.com and free on the App Store. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the previous video, which is how to schedule Do Not Disturb. Follow me on Twitter at Corbon Garcia and uh, get links to where you can get the app and for the website at my website, which is cgtech.weebly.com, and that's cgtech was the K. Thanks for watching, and you'll hear my voice in the next video.